I think conventional medicine doesn't really test thyroid function as well as they should. They're commonly only testing TSH or free T4, plus or minus antibodies, but again, not every time. And I think, you know, testing TSH, free T3, free T4, thyroid antibodies, and ideally reverse T3 would be um, ideal. And the reason is, um, for thyroid to have function, you actually not only need appropriate levels, you need functioning receptors to have the appropriate function. And so, you know, obviously if levels are off, that's an easy one. But sometimes uh, there's things that sit in the receptor that block the actual function. And things that we know is that persistent organophosphates actually sit in those receptors and block the function of uh, T3. There's also evidence that with high stress, and who isn't stressed? that we make a lot of reverse T3. Um, and reverse T3 looks exactly like T3, but it has no activity at all. So you can have normal blood tests and then have high reverse T3 and have no function. So really addressing the stress and modulating other things and maybe just replacing with T3 for a period of time may make all the difference in the world. And I have to sort of say that, you know, uh, with all the education I've done, I feel much more comfortable doing these things and um, you know working with patients on doing a trial of thyroid medication in situations where conventional endocrinologists or family doctors wouldn't.